Hey guys, it's Matt, and um, welcome to a bit of a different Minecraft video. Um, but before we start, sort of like a bit of a progress update on the projects we're doing. Um, basically, we've got, I'd say, three main projects going at the moment. We've got a server that we're working on, um, we've got Craft Bandicoot, and there's also Predator 2. However, with Predator 2, um, sort of decided to leave that until 1.5 because every single snapshot so far has released something new where we could let's help condense the redstone. So we just said, nope, sod it, we'll wait until then. So we've sort of got two main projects running at the moment, which is server and um, craft bandicoot warped. And then after that, we'll work on Predator 2, then the King's Dominion. Then we've basically got all these projects we've started but never finished. We just got to tackle them individually, one by one and get them all done that way because there's just no way we'll be able to do them all together but anyway back to this video um basically um my friend ian um hosted a server for me and my all our friends way way back it was about three years ago or something like that now and this is pretty much the first multiplayer server and the, the basically the first world i ever played on we all got minecraft basically for the first time and um i thought we'd lost this world and well so did ian as well but he found it and um I'm just have a look. I've been having a look around it, and it's pretty good. I'm I'm pretty pleased with how how good it got really, um, because basically there's a whole storyline behind it. We like split into factions and stuff like that, and we had wars and stuff. And that wasn't just us playing around. That was actually happening. Like we talked about it in college, well in school at the time, and there was fallouts and stuff. And it was it was pretty fun. It was like a, it could have been like a Minecraft series or something like that. It was it was pretty cool. So anyway, this is where the spawn was. Um, we didn't build all this to begin with, obviously. Over here, we I saw a big mound of dirt, well, uh, sort of like a mountain, and I started building on top of that. And then my friend TJ and Ian came over and started building it um, with me. And this was the first castle up here. We had the very first castle. In fact, actually, no, this was the first thing. This box. This was going to be our house. So we're going to have our like beds in here this is going to be our house but then we decided to extend it and we came up with all this actually damn it that actually goes somewhere now you'll see why i was surprised about that in a second because th there's just so many different ways around it so we're gonna have a farm here and um it, it was pretty basic stuff really um then we decided to extend it a bit further so we built this went down here and extended it out to here i decided building a tower would be good um this is one of the best builds that i ever did back then i, I was pretty pleased with that <laughs> so you know and then coming around the back here we extended it out extended it out then decided you know what let's dig underground let's build another building here and then link that up to the first building of course there's an upstairs there but that doesn't go anywhere and that's basically how this castle worked we just kept extending it like up here as well back back up top um we extended it out really far like after that we decided you know what we want more space and eventually we were just building for the hell of it okay okay this is another one I'll come to these in a second because they're confusing as hell. I can't even remember. Basically, it's a sewer system that TJ puts in, and I just I can't remember where they all went because there's so many of them. So you know, we try to name everywhere, and then you know we just kept extending it, extending it, and it got pretty hectic. Really, we built the castle pretty big, but it's just it's so confusing to go around now because I can't even remember where, every, where everywhere it goes. I looked at this in MC Edit and there's just so many pathways around here. We spent we spent ages on this, must have. Um let's see, so you can go up here, down here, this it just branches off everywhere. I'm just I can't even remember where all this goes. But yeah, then the sewers, there's another one of course here. They literally just go everywhere. So we'll come down here. I, no I'm gonna get lost. Um okay we'll go this way. This looks to be where everywhere's going. So, I hope this comes out somewhere, it isn't just going down into a hole. Okay, right, okay, this is one of the sewers that exits the castle. Right, okay. And as you can see, there's a lot of them. There really is a lot. Like, if we come around here, there's another one as well. I think actually flying up this one will take us to the centre. Oh yeah, that's this is another secret room. Right, behind one of these paintings is a lever. And behind another one of these paintings is a door. Now, I can't find the lever because I can't walk through these because there's only one block. And I can't find the door because it's closed. But I, I sort of want to... Oh, there it is. What's, what's through here? Okay. Welcome to the den. <laughs> oh, my God. This was all legit as well. At this, at the time of the castle, we were playing legit. I mean, eventually we started giving ourselves items to build. But this castle, everything was legit at the time. So what's in here? 
Oh, okay then. Why has this come out? I don't actually be oh great, yep, yeah, another sewer. Typical oh, okay. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So that's like a back entrance. I, I like that, okay, that's cool. So yeah, over here, this is where we sort of this is like a branch of the castle where this was like another little island. As you see how it's got dirt and stuff. We sort of overtook it completely, mined inside it. Um and it never it sort of lost how natural it was and became more of a structure. Same with the castle. That was a mountain, but it's sort of not a mountain anymore because of how much we built on it. Um and then up here, this is where we started giving ourselves items. This is my Zeppelin. This is the first like ever like flying Zeppelin structure I built. I was pleased with this. I thought this was brilliant. <laughs> and you know, it's 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 pretty basic, but you know, I quite liked it. And then I think over here, yeah, there's a ladder. You can go into the inside. And we decided to put like a big infrastructure inside it. Of course we spawned all these. We didn't actually go mining to get all these blocks. But you know. Let's go out here. Um lighthouse. And that pretty much sums up the castle really. Um we didn't cheat for this except for the Zeppelin. And then over here, this is when we start we decided, you know what? We've been on the castle for about four months now. Um, we've had lots of shenanigans, we've had lots of fallouts. Like Basically, TJ started Team Sewer, where he decided to make loads of sewers. And of course, we all joined it. And here we go, this is the confusing part, where there's billions of sewers. And um, all the other people on the server, all our other friends, who didn't like the idea, left the castle and went over to a cove over there. We eventually called it Outcast Cove, and they became the Outcasts. And there you go, Team Sewer. And there was a massive debate about this. In real life, we were actually like full on competitive and arguing about this, and it was brilliant. <laughs> it was re it was really fun. And um, I'll go over there in a second. But we decided to expand our castle, expand our ground, and we um, made Castle Side Village. And we thought this was fantastic at the time. But going back to it, it is literally just wooden boxes. So you know that's a bit of a disappointment. But we were really pleased with it at the time. Now Ian has a hidden lab down here somewhere and I can't remember where it is so this doesn't go anywhere I don't think no it doesn't um, that was a treasure hunt sign that TJ put to he had clues going everywhere to try and lead people to treasure no one actually found it but all the outcasts were trying it was pretty funny so yeah anyway we built this and we decided to expand a bit further this um, near where we live there's a place called the walled garden and um, we were trying to recreate that in Minecraft because we were doing the Duke of Edinburgh award. We were gardening there every weekend. So we thought, yeah, let's do that. Obviously, it didn't have cacti and stuff. We just decided to put Minecraft ones there. But that's sort of as far as it got. We never really tried much further. Um, past here, past the walls of Castleside Village, we have sort of the lower city where we made like slums and stuff. Uh, you know, I still think this is pretty cool, really. You can go back up to Castleside that way. Um... Yeah, I, I quite liked I quite liked the lower city. I believe I called this pub the yeah, the World's End Tavern. Bit of a wow reference there. But yeah, then we had since we couldn't be bothered keeping this design up, uh, we at past here we called this like the National Park. Now this bit was all desert. See, so as you can see, there's a bit of sand there. This was all desert, but we converted it to grass. And then we we were going to carry on building here, but we never really bothered. Pretty much. We started building a dock. But again, didn't really bother. Built one ship. I think that was mine again. Pretty basic. Pretty good though. For I'm not gonna lie, for about two years ago. And then we tried building a Sphinx. Um no comment. It's a bit bit ridiculous. It's floating on the water as well. And also I think underneath there's like a hundred thousand TNT. No, okay then. We filled it up with TNT at one point though, no, I'm sure we did. But anyway, we'll come out of that now. Um, we'll carry on going over here actually, and then we'll go that direction because there's also some, pr some pretty good stuff over there. So this was something else that we didn't build legitimately. We tried building like a PvP arena, and we did actually use it. Like um, I think like we were blue, and the outcasts were red, and we set we actually settled differences in here. And when we had dib um, disputes, we always used to settle them out in here. We always won because we were opt and they weren't. To be honest, we can I can see why they got pretty annoyed at us like in college and stuff, but you know whatever it was funny for us. Um, our friend Callum built a treehouse. Our friend John burnt it down. Our friend Callum rebuilt his treehouse. Our friend John destroyed it, and then it looks like Callum actually did rebuild it. <laughs> Callum eats poo like Ian. That that'll be fun. John, oh the memories. What's down here? Uh, oh, 
Is that that better not be another sewer? No good. Okay. It wouldn't surprise me if it was, to be honest. And then you know we 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 walled this section off. We better start building there. What the hell's that? Is that just glowstone? No, oh, no, that's just fences. Okay, ignore that. So over here, we decided, okay, we've expanded from the castle and created castle side. We've done all that there. Let's expand again, and we'll go build another um like like village on this island. But never really took off. We built a few buildings, where you can see the shoddy as hell. But you know, you know, yeah, we we saw this was coming in like the final days of the serve where we sort of stopped playing, and I'll explain why we why that happened in the end as well. But coming over here, you may have noticed this building. This is the Redstone Academy. Um, obviously, I built this. This is one. This is the first redstone thing I ever built. Okay, so I didn't. Well, obviously, without it's it's like doors and some logic gates and stuff. Um, it's one of these things. Number three, press it, goes up to number four. There we go. Goes all the way up to fifteen. So you know, I was pretty pleased with this. This was before like one point three. There were no repeaters. There were no pistons. There were no um, torches. So to light things up, I had to use lights. I had to use torches like that. Very basic, but let's go inside. I was pleased with this. Oh my god, this is this is like my signature build, just because it's the first thing I built. I built. But looking over here, this is a T flip flop without repeaters or pistons. They were huge. They were really big. But this is how T flip flops work in microchips. So I think it's pretty cool to be honest. Of how like the current T flip flops, they sort of use like bugs and like pistons with drawing and stuff like that. But to work like this, I think, is really cool. They're slow as hell, but, you know, they're pretty cool. So there's four of those to make a four-bit number. Four bits, the counts up in ones, decoder, then over here, display, up into that. That is a mess. That really is a mess. Whereas now, see how it's one, two, three. Now all I need is a repeater there, and the other two could just go. Wouldn't need them. And then that's just... It'd be so much simpler. But that's not all I did with this, because I was really pleased with this, and I thought, well, it's a Redstone Academy... Um, we did make the server public at one point. That will lead to like the demise of it. I'll, I'll explain that later. So I showed I pull up like basic logic gates to try and like show people how redstone works and stuff. I was pretty happy with it. And is it, oh yeah, this is the underground. I was going to make another part of the section, another part of it, but again, never really took off. So we'll we'll leave the redstone academy now. In fact, we'll just go out the wall. There we go. Oops. Yeah. All right. And then, okay, so we started expanding over this way as well. This was before we went that way, I think. So this has a bit more life in it. This was another building of TJ's. He was going to build like a big tree stump with a with a village inside it. So as you can probably tell, this is the tree stump. And let's go inside it. It's, it's It was pretty cool, really. I quite liked it. It was quite a nice design. It was all one block. Maybe if the floor was made out of like wooden planks instead, it would look a bit better. But, you know, it was a pretty good design. I quite liked it. Now over here, this was another village me and Ian were building. Obviously, there weren't just us three. I've, I noticed I've mentioned us, our three names quite a lot. There was about ten of us, but you know, we were the we were sort of the opt people. This was a village we were making called Minstrel City. It sounds very similar to Mistral City from the Yogscast Shadow of Israfel because we took the building design, um, basically the same layout in Mistral City. We've got Granny Bacon's there. I think we've got. Yeah, the Astley residence here. You know, we, we did a good job of it, really. And then we decided, you know what, we can't be bothered recreating the whole thing. Stopped there, and then we built our own, like... We were going to expand out there, of course, but we, we never actually did in the end. But we built, like, our own section here, like a lumber mill. This building here was to be public shops. Um, because what we're going to do is we're going to let people have plots of land to build on. It may sound familiar to some of you that to a different type of server we're currently working on. That will all make sense in a second. So, you know, we built all that. So let's go back to the spawn now. Whoops. I'm just going to... Oh, don't have permissions. Okay, then. Open to land. Kill. Thank you. That's another trick if you don't... If you want... Where am I here? Where's this? Oh, brilliant. Okay. So this is Outcast Cove. So, brilliant. All right, I'll just show you where we were then. So the spawn that we started in to begin with, was, come on, load up there. That was the spawn, and then that goes off to the castle that way, as you may remember, or not, so I'll just let that load up. Come on, there we go, Sphinx Castle sorted. So this way, going off this direction, we'll ignore the big sandstone castle for now, um, and this as well. This was actually built in after, so we'll come, we'll come past this. 
this was Outcast Cove. This is where our friends, after the fallout, um, came to, and they started building here, and we bullied them constantly. It was funny. Not for them. But it all was in the end. They all laugh. We all laugh at it now. It, it was good times. Like, we just... We eventually, like, raided their place and blew up their houses for, like, possession of bombs and stuff like that. They didn't. We planted the TNT there. But, you know, fun times. So, this was... They tried to expand it as much as they could. And, in the end, they sort of ruined the cove. It was quite nice but beforehand of how they had a few buildings in the side there. With, next to the big cove. And then they did this. This was sort of like their mining section. This was my house I built here to claim this mountain because I thought I thought it looked great. I, how could I be more wrong? But anyway, this was sort of like their mining place. I've never actually been down here. I don't really want to because I'll get lost. But they mined the hell out of that. They added in all sorts of pathways and stuff. You can see one there. Then um, our friend Tom, who was sort of like one of the leader of the outcasts, who made like Isengard over there, that tower that's just unloaded. We weren't probably going over there. He, he started building a sandstone castle. At the same time, we started building this over there. So I sort of commandeered this. Like the mount, like the river, the moat he was building was sort of went off organically a bit like that. It wasn't square shaped. And he started building this. Now, when we came up to it, like we started building here, we started building a wall along. Now, this was, we were giving ourselves the blocks to do this. When we got here, we noticed, oh, hang on a sec, our wall is going to go right through his castle. And he said, right, we'll make it go round. And we're like, no, it's a wall. It's going to go straight. So we ploughed straight through his castle. His castle came to about here. We ploughed straight through it, destroyed this side of his castle, turned it back into um, sand. And then I sort of like built his castle into the wall to make it a part of it. Made the moat square shaped. It took quite a while. And, you know, to put his moats going into the wall and stuff. Completely took this over. Claimed his castle. He was a bit annoyed about it at the time. But, you know, whatever. He's an outcast. We carried on building it round. We noticed that it was going to get a bit too low, so we made it go higher there and back down. You know, and then this was a build I saw on Planet Minecraft by the site's creator, Cypress. Um, this was in the very early days of Planet Minecraft. I was in like the first 20,000 members on the on the actual website. So um, this I saw, I thought it looked cool, so I decided to build a version of it in the middle. And then once we actually built all this, we decided to like expand it. Um, sadly, 1.5 happened, and this, well, um, yeah, 1.5 happened, and as it turned out, this was actually in a Tega biome. Uh, where does it say? Oh, no, it's, okay, we actually changed this in the end. Um, it was in a Tega biome to begin with, so when it, every time it snowed, which we didn't know how to disable at the time, it just used to cover the desert in snow. And we got a bit annoyed, so we sort of just gave up here. But, you know, we built a fair amount. Um, it, it was pretty cool. And, actually... I think that might be it. The reason why this server stopped was because um, we were going on it all the time. All our friends were enjoying it. We decided it maybe might be cool to make it a public server. And um, so we made it public. Not everyone agreed like with that. Most people decided that was a bad idea. And in the end, they just stopped playing it. But we, we were certain that making it public was a good idea. And so we gave it to a stronger host, our friend Jamie. And... Um, he sort of took it in. In the end, we couldn't use this world. We had it as a separate world, but eventually we created a new world to put the plots on because we wanted to keep that idea. Um, so we gave everyone plots. We put the server up on Planet Minecraft. And since that was one of the earliest servers to be put on, we were actually the second most popular server on the website at the time. And we were also the first server ever to reach a 1,000 comments on the website, which was quite an achievement, I thought. Um, sadly, after load of inactivity because of course the server went down um we well the, the server page eventually got deleted so that's the problem the server we're currently building is that server we are rebuilding it it's not going to use this world we, we've got a new world it's custom built that's why it's taking so long to build in fact actually i might quickly hop on and show it craftier coming soon um this is what we're currently building this is the spawn and then these are some building designs I've been working on. Um, pretty standard at the moment. I quite like this building. I thought that was pretty clever. I, I am pleased with that. A bit steampunky. Um, and then over here, basically it's going to be... This is one big custom-built island. And we've got millions... Well, not millions. We've got seven of these. I've built them all on World Painter. And then we've done some tweaking to them. This, this is pretty huge, this island. Not going to lie. It's pretty big. 
So the spawn island is big. We can put plots on here, do what we want with it. There's a big mountain range there, and it goes on beyond that. However, the city, the, the cities themselves, because basically the plots are split into cities, it comes through here. So this is new mod coming through here. This is where one of the cities is going to be, and I've not actually seen what they've done to this, so um, I'll, I'll see how this goes. I might have to just bring those lamps up one, because I hate glass in floors. I might have to do that, but this is one big world. This is bigger than the spawn island. This is like 7,000 blocks long. This is a huge island, so the cities have plenty of room for growth. Um, we've only set up, set up one so far, but eventually there's going to be two more portals for two other cities. There's going to be two other portals called Mineland, where the big custom-built worlds that everyone can destroy, everyone can destroy all the blocks in them and like go mining for resources and stuff. However, every 24 hours, those two worlds reset. So if you can remember where diamonds are, you can get them every single day. And that, so that's pretty good. And then we're also going to build a shop where you can sell all your stuff. And basically, get you'll be able to buy blocks to build your house on your plot. And that's basically the main gist of it. We're going to have all sorts of stuff. There's going to be like parkour um, and dungeons that reward you with items and stuff like that. It's a pretty ambitious server, not going to lie. So that should be something to look out for in the future. That's one of our servers. That's, that's, that's the server we're working on pretty much. Um, and then there's Crash Bandicoot. So they should be coming out. Not soon, I'd have to say. Sorry for the lack of videos, it's just because we've been working on those solid. But other than that, I will see you in the next video, guys.